What is up, Rum Raiders? Today we're talking Dictator 20. All right, guys, so we have the Dictador 20 is a Solera system rum, aged 20 years on average, which means it's a blend of 16 to 24 year old rums. Nice. Comes in a beautiful bottle, uh, has a netting, which I'm not sure what it's for. <laughs> but there have been many suspect <laughs> ideas behind that. We're not going to go into all of them. It does remind me of the uh, Asian pear, how it, how it's really juicy and it protects the <laughs> fruit. Maybe it's protecting the bottle. Right. So this, this bottle is inspired by uh, some Asian themes, right? I think so. It, it looks very sleek. All right, so this is a uh, Colombian rum, oh, nice. and it's made using sugarcane honey from uh, virgin sugar canes. Uh, Sage, uh, you picked this up during your travels to Japan, mm-hmm. right? Yeah, uh, when I was in Japan, I saw this bottle at the liquor store. It was, it was about fifty-eight dollars, like U.S. Oh wow, it, it was That's a, a good steal. deal. Yeah, it was a steal. Like if you buy it here, it's like. It was like $104 at Hawaiian oh. War. So we're talking, as far as rums go, I mean, we are getting up there. Like, this, uh, expectation-wise, I'm hoping that it's going to be, like, uh, on the level of plantation. It doesn't need to be the same taste, but I feel like you need to be at the same level when you're at that price point. You know, honestly, because plantation, that we like the plantation 20 years, uh, what, 40 something dollars cheaper? How much, how much cheaper would it be? Uh, well, no, excuse me. Out the door, they're almost the same. Yeah, out the, out the door, the Plantation 20th Anniversary XL, that's one uh, Steele's talking about. Out the door, that one's about 70 bucks. Okay, yeah. so... This is, in Seattle, this at our local liquor store is $80 before tax, so it comes out to about 104 Okay. Mm-hmm. okay. Smells good. Yeah. So, so this is made out of virgin sugarcane honey, and it's also using the Solera system. So that reminds... Me of another rum we had before, uh, the Ronza Kappa 23. Which was very good. Yeah, which we like. So two expectations so far from the price point and the fact that we've had another one. So uh, cheers, everyone. Yep, cheers. I'm excited. Cheers. Very good smell to it. Um, mm. Warm, warmth. Like it, I can smell the, what, the vanilla. and It, it has a strong some full cinnamon. smell to it. Cinnamon. Yeah, there's some spicy but sweet smell as well. Um, oh, it, it smells. It has a it has a soft nose. I, I think. It has try, you tried nose. it? Did you oh, try not, it? Not yet. It's I'm, good. I'm still enjoying try the it. smell. Yeah, I think you have to try it. It's a amber color, a little lighter. Okay, I'll try it now. Interesting, right? That's actually yeah. Well, wow. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, it is very interesting. It. So it, it comes on really soft, mm-hmm. and then it kind of hits you with a flavor that I can't I can't really. We'll tell you. We'll save it right now. We'll save it. Um, we're gonna go ahead and try this on the rocks, and then um, mixed, and then we'll give you our, our full things. We don't want to give it away because this is actually really interesting. I'm liking this so far. So okay. Rum Raiders, we'll check you out in a minute. Yep. Welcome back, Rum Raiders. As you can see, the bottle is officially <laughs> empty. So. Um, I think that's a great sign, but let's uh, go ahead and start right off with um, Sage. Let us know what you thought neat on the rocks and mixed, and then what your overall you know thoughts on were, and a score from 1 to 5 using point fives. Yeah. So, like, off the bat, I already have some preconceptions, because sure. I'm like, it's made out of virgin sugar cane, honey, and it's like, using the Solera system, you know, I have to compare it to Ron Zacapa. Yeah. Um, you know this? Overall, it's a really good rum. Like, like taking it neat, it was a little strong. It felt subtle at first, easy on the nose. Lots of hints of like caramel, sweetness, uh, a little hint of banana, a little hint of oak, you know, that little slight bitter spiciness. But then when you drink it neat, it was like, bam, like a lot of flavor. Like, it was definitely the oak like bitterness, spiciness, cinnamon was coming out. It was kind of strong. Um, then there was also a, like an underlying layer of like sweetness of caramel. Uh, so it was, it was, I thought, I thought it was really good neat. Just sipping it neat, it was pretty good, but a little strong. And I, you know, I thought it would be, would be good on the rocks. And then I had it on the rocks, 
you know, with some ice. And that's where it shined. Um, I really love it on the rocks. Like I would, I would sip this, you know, right after dinner on the rocks. It's it's such a really good drink on the rocks. It's, it really mellowed out some of the flavors, kind of like, uh, kind of made it more palatable, like in the sense of like I can actually like enjoy the flavors rather than it hitting me. Um, so I think it's best on a rock as a as a sipping rum. Okay. Um, and then surprisingly, I had it with like different cocktails. I had like Captain Steel's with was the uh, lime and mint and club some soda. club soda. I also had it with a uh, Sprite and club soda and lime. Um, I don't know what that drink is called, but Your it's wish. actually, <laughs> it's, you know, it's the Captain Sage away. Yeah. But I don't know, but it's it's really good actually like this. Um, really? Just, just straight up Sprite, lime, and uh, club soda. And then with rum and coke, it was kind of okay. It just tasted like a rum and coke. The, the, the dictador was kind of like overpowered by the coke a little bit. So it just tasted like a regular rum and coke. And then I also had it as um, a daiquiri. Oh my God, daiquiri too. Is right. I had a taste of the uh, the ginger with a ginger beer. And that was super good. That is a daiquiri. It was it was not the best daiquiri, but it was it was it was good. Um, but 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 surprisingly, as a, as a sipping rum, as a, with such strong flavors, it works with a a lot of cocktails. Mm -hmm. Like I don't know if you want to mix a hundred four dollar rum with in cocktails, but but if you do, if, if you do, <laughs> if you need to cut it, like it's it actually works really well in a cocktail. Like usually, like with really aged rums, it it really like overpowers the cocktail, so it's kind of hard to mix it with. But it, this is really easy to mix with. But definitely take it on the rocks. You can't go wrong. Um, so what's your score? Oh, my score, I will give it a four. Right on. Oh, wow. Okay. That's a good score for you. Mm -hmm. wow. it, it's great as a sipping rum, and it mixes with a lot of variety of cocktails. Right on. Yep. Okay. So um, for me, right off the bat, um, yeah, of course, there's a couple expe expectations, price point, and um, the, the way that it was made. So, you know, two things come to mind that we're all going to bring up, but, uh, I thought, it, I thought it was really good. Um, it's definitely one where if I went somewhere, I would definitely, if they had it on, I, I would get a glass of it, but I don't think it's one that at least neat, I would, I would keep on ordering. I think that it's, it's a, it's a great friend to have in your hand for like a drink, you know, but after that you're done, you part your ways for the night. But um, on the rocks, amazing. Obviously, it actually changes uh, for the better. And, and the amazing part was that it didn't just turn into a straight like a uh, sugar water. Because some of the rums just, as soon as you put that ice in there, they just turn into sugar water. It, this kept a flavor, but it, it changed its profile and and mellowed out that uh, burn because it has a, it has a at the back end of it, neat. It has this uh, slow burn that that is enjoyable, but you wouldn't want to dance with it all night. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So this way, just cured all that you could drink it all night the whole bottle not a problem and then uh mixed it was fine for me everybody thought it was fine but usually you know what i find with mo most rums can be mixed it's more surprising when one mix is bad then we really talk about it you know what i mean because that's weird but that has happened so we're, we've been there but no I, th I think it's great you know and i oh god you know oh where, where, where do you have this? that's what i'm thinking right now um i would give it a 3.5 because um i think that i'm not Totally sure, but I want to say I gave Ron Zacapa a four, yeah, give it a four and yeah. I want to say that Ron Zacapa beat it on the neat end, but they're mm -hmm. both very enjoyable all both ways together, but I would say if there was the two of them, I would take the Ron Zacapa just on the neat end, but they're both great, and I do really like it. I highly recommend you try it. So, Buji? Let me ask you this. Yeah. If you take price points out of consideration, which one would you choose? Well, it'd still have to be the fact that um, that they're both made the same way. They still compare that way, you know what I mean. So in the end, they're always going to go head to head. So, so you're still going to go Ron's Zacapa. I am, but I don't have a problem with this one. I really like it. If it was the only thing there, I would take it. But I'm saying if they're, they're head to head and I'm doing neat, mm -hmm. I'm taking the Ron's Zacapa neat just because uh, the complexity yeah. is more enjoyable for me of the Ron Zacapa. But it's still really good. So definitely try it if you, if you if you can see it somewhere and you can try it, go do it. I recommend it. I'm just saying, you know, it has some competition that I just like a little bit more. So Bucci. All right. Um. <clears throat> so this one, I actually really enjoyed this rum. Mm -hmm. I I was conflicted at first. I'm not gonna lie, I was conflicted at first when I first took it neat. I couldn't pinpoint the flavor of what was in it. I you can tell it's 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 a complex rum, but it was so well balanced.
that only one flavor really shown through. But at the same time, it had a soft nose, mm. <clears throat> but it had a, a long, slow burn. Yep. And then it ended really dry. Mm-hmm. I, yeah. I think this is, it reminds me of more of like Spanish flavors. Mm-hmm. Oh. It just ended really dry, and I didn't really enjoy it as much on me. Right. Um, yeah. I, I always started with a, and I, the longer it sat, the worse it got. For me. When it's breathing, yeah. I actually, I actually started with a two on this. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> then we went to the rocks and game changer on the rocks. Yep. On the rocks is a is a five. It's all the way to five. Wow. It's really, it wow. is though. It's yeah, really it's, good. Like, you, 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 can, right. you can sit and just sip on this. Is it took away that long slow burn, it just eliminated. Yep. Mm-hmm. And then you can actually taste flavors out of it. You exactly. can taste vanilla, cinnamon, you can taste a little bit of wood. Um, it was actually really tasty on the rocks. It was actually very sophisticated, the drink itself. And then you, a hundred dollar out the door, five rated on the rocks. You do not mix, right? Mm. Yeah. yeah. You're not supposed to mix if it. If I can rate it a six. <laughs> Unless you're a rock rider. If I can rate it a six <laughs> you mix it. or a seven as a mixed drink, I, I would. Because this was the best rum and ginger I've ever had. Wow. Oh, yeah. Hands yeah. down, was good. the best rum and ginger. And, yeah. I, and I had a few other ways of swizzle. I had a couple sips of his daiquiris and his uh, sage ways. But hands down, rum and ginger is the absolute best rum drink in my opinion. Wow. Wow. Out of any, out of any drink. So mix... Oh, like, that, that's beating out of the Dorgan Star me too. Like they're really... Yeah, that, that's, that's beating out... <laughs> the rum and ginger with a <laughs> Dictador 20... Beats out uh, a dark and stormy wow. with a, a gauze and dark and stormy. But you can't even just because they, they either got that name. You can't, you know. No, no. But 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 the thing is, a, a gauzing is twenty five dollars. That's what I'm saying. Gauze. Like, there's such a difference here that it's not fair. Like, yeah. you're being yeah, no. in when you talk about gauzing compared to this, dude. If, if price point, <laughs> if price point isn't doesn't matter to you, this makes the best mixed drinks. Uh, so all in all, I I give it a four. Okay. Nice. Just because it, it lacked for me yeah. in the neat side. It hurts in the beginning. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, great. So um, we have all of our scores. Um, we're going to go ahead and wrap this up. But please, if you have any comments, suggestions, ideas, write them below. We definitely want to hear from you. Like I said, we're always looking to make this interactive. We've actually got a couple um, of people that com- uh, contacted us about mm-hmm. being on episodes, which is awesome. And we're working on it, guys. We're going to get everybody on. Um, so definitely keep doing that. But other than that, um, we'll see you guys next time. So everybody raise it up. Cheers. Salute. Salute. Let me say something. I have to say, I really like this bottle. It's pretty slick. It's black. Yeah, no, I like it. And it, I don't know if you can see this, but it has like this raised and beveled stuff. It's oh, pretty, it? oh, pretty neat. Awesome. And this D up here, I don't know if you can see that. I don't even know if my camera works this way. The camera's probably off by now. <laughs>